Fighters Only Television. We're here in Nottingham, England at the open workouts for this weekend's UFC on Fuel 5 event featuring Stefan Struve and Stipe Miocic in the main event. And also on the card is the man standing next to me, John Hathaway, and he's facing fellow Brit John Maguire. And uh, thanks for joining us, John. Give us, um, give us your thoughts on the matchup because it's, it's a Brit versus Brit fight, which a lot of UK fighters aren't always keen on taking. What are your thoughts? Uh, again, you know, it's, it's may not be a fight where we're keen on taking, but it's both mine and John's job to compete, say, with whoever the UFC give us. And, um, you know, Saturday we've been given each other, but we're, we've both prepared fully for this competition. We're both ready for it, I'm sure. And um, we're both just trying to try to give the fans uh, a really good fight. And was it, was it like a, a no option offer? You just got told it's John Maguire and that's it, or did you get a choice? Again, no. I mean, I, I could give him the one fight. I'm sure you can refuse a fight or two, but uh, it's, it's always better to kind of take the fights you're given rather than uh, cause any kind of like hassle or fuss. So, I mean, you end up just, just realizing that this is the fight you're going you're gonna to have, it's the fight they've given you, and you just dedicate yourself to the training and, and get on with it. Personally, I feel like it's a shame because, uh, you know, you're both building up kind of a nice uh, momentum and um, obviously one person's going to lose that momentum there can only be one winner do you and John know each other outside the UFC I guess you've met before on the UK MMA scene it's not that big of a world are you friendly terms uh, yeah I mean we, we bumped into each other lots of times on, on UK shows and stuff like that and uh, different UFC kind of promotion events and uh, yeah we get along we always talk and stuff like that and uh, we've had no, no problem not to not to get along obviously we're still going to get along after this fight and during this I guess join the fight <laughs> as much as we can. While we're join the fight, you probably won't. But uh, yeah, you know, after this fight, I'm sure we'll, we'll be back to being amicable with each other. Right. So you're down at uh, London Street Fighters, yep. doing your preparations. And uh, what sort of things have you prepared to counter against uh, Gypsy Jiu-Jitsu? Again, we've obviously had a, a lot of top Jiu-Jitsu people in and uh, doing a lot of positional stuff. And um, I think, you know, hopefully I'll, I'll be able to avoid any, any bad positions, bad scrambles, what he would want to get involved in and um, keep fighting kind of my range and my dominant positions. Because you know John's got that pink belt in gypsy jiu-jitsu would you say you're at like a pink belt level yourself uh no again i don't have any belt level in uh jiu-jitsu and stuff like that but um i'm sure like uh he's, he's a very good jiu-jitsu practitioner i know he's submitted black belts before and stuff in competition but um you know we, we've had a lot of tough training partners and well i think he kind of made that up himself the pink belt thing because he's got his own system called gypsy jiu-jitsu yeah, he doesn't actually but he might award you a pink belt after the fight if you win hey, something I, to look forward I to get some kind of belt belt rank after this so Give us, um, give us a little insight into what's going on down London Shoot right now because uh, your teammate Carlos Vermola, yeah. he got a big fight announced recently. He's fighting Chris Lieber. What yeah. do you think about that fight? Uh, I think it's a great fight. You know, obviously uh, Lieber's an incredibly tough competitor. He's a, he's a great name and stuff like that. And I, I really do feel like Carlos can come and come out with the win and stuff like that. We've obviously got a, a lot of other fighters going over to other promotions like Bellator's and Super Fight League and stuff like that. So we've got a lot of, lot of good people coming through and, and fighting and training incredibly hard like Claudio De Silva, um, Premise Law, Michael Page, you know, um, Pavel, all coming through, great fighters coming through and, and wanting to get the win. We've got Eric Bradley over at the moment, he's going to hopefully be fighting soon and um, we've just got a full house of, of good training people. There's a guy at your gym, he's originally from Moldova, he does a lot of leg locks. Uh, that's Pavel. Pa what's his second name? I can't. We'll put this up on the screen when the video goes up, but you need to look out for this guy, Pavel, Pavel Dorovta. Yeah. Pavel Dorovta. Like I'd never be able to pronounce it that well, do you know what yeah. I mean? I saw him fighting in Manchester, he's from Moldova, he's got like a Sambo background, amazing leg locks, you should look him up. Uh, what's Alex Reed up to these days? Uh, I believe he was back in the gym the other, the last couple of weeks, he's been back in the gym quite a few, quite a few days, um, doing two times training sessions a day, and uh, just getting back into the system, I think, you know, and uh, just getting ready. I don't know whether he's, he's planning to compete, or whether he's not, but um, <clears throat> he's just coming back in and training hard. Does he get his own dressing room down there, like his own... Uh... No, no, again, he's just with the rest of us, you know, and just, uh, just putting in the time and the work.